guys, it's Ginger. I'm here with another music review. This time it is the latest from the Goo Goo Dolls called Boxes. <sighs> okay. The last, until recently, the last Goo Goo Dolls album that I bought was Dizzy Up the Girl from like, when was that? 1998, 99, something like that. And I enjoyed them. Um, I especially enjoyed the Goo Goo Dolls from the beginning of their career because they were more punk influenced. Um, then when you got to uh, A Boy Named Goo and Dizzy Up the Girl, it had more pop sensibility in the band. Um, but it still had some rock and roll sound to it. Um, it's been a while since I've listened to a Goo Goo Dolls album. They're like a new album. This was a big meh for me. Um, it wasn't that it was bad. It wasn't that it was good. It was unremarkable. How's that? Um, I don't even really recall there being any electric guitar sound in here. I mean, really, I... Nothing really grabbed my attention. Except that I was kind of bored the whole time that, that I was listening to this. Um, it felt kind of... adult contemporary. Um, I... I don't know what... What, ha what happened? What happened? What happened? And I mean, most of the songs were uh, sang by Johnny Resnick. There were a couple by um, Robbie Takak, I think his last name is, um, which is uh, sort of like the formula that they've done since a long time ago. I mean, one of my favorite songs by the Goo Goo Dolls was sung by Robbie Takak. Um, called Slave Girl. And this, oh, I just, oh, no, no. It was a yawn. It was a yawn. Sorry. And I used to be a really big fan of their music. I don't know. There's something that, that, like, there's a lack of, like, their music even when after it became more of the pop rock thing, there was a mysterious sensuality um, something that is lacking. This album is very generic sounding. It's, ah, uh, no, it's, ooh, no. Mm. Um, the only song that I really, sorry, I have a, I have an itchy nose. Um, the only one of this that I really liked was the third track called Flood, uh, featuring Sydney Sirota. Sirota? And I don't have no clue that who that is. It's a female, because it, it was a female vocal. So, I don't know. I mean, unless you're a hardcore fan of theirs who still appreciates their getting their new music, pick it up. But otherwise, I wouldn't recommend this. And I know that they got a lot of crap when they switched over to more of a pop rock sound. Um, because they were more of a punk rock band back when they started out in Buffalo, New York. And... Uh, they did get a lot of crap with, uh, I think it was with uh, a, a boy named Goo. Because it had more of the pop song type of thing happening. But it was still pop rock. <sighs> I swear the only actual guitar I heard in here was acoustic guitar. Unless I fell into a coma. Which wouldn't be surprising because it was boring. So give this a thumbs up if you enjoy these music reviews. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you can come to back so you can come back and sit for a spell. I'm, to, I'm sleepy. 
it's nap time. <laughs> so you can subscribe so you can come back and sit for a spell and I'll see you in the next video.